What is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? NAFLD is a condition in which the liver gathers and abnormally retains lipids. There are two types of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The first type is non-alcoholic fatty liver, in which the liver is simply fatty. The second type is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, in which the liver begins to have inflammation. This is more serious. NASH progressively becomes irreversible. The liver does not normally store fat. It just packages the lipids and sends them out to do work like making bile salts, hormones, and vitamin D. When the body takes in excess nutrients, including carbohydrates and proteins, these can be converted into triglycerides, another type of lipid. When the body does not need that stored energy to fuel the body's activity, the liver continues to accumulate deposits of fat. This progression is most closely linked to an excess intake of calories. There is a long list of risk factors for developing fatty liver disease, though these risks are mostly related to disorders of metabolism, nutrition, and inflammation. An example of a common disorder is metabolic syndrome, frequently linked to an inactive lifestyle. Certain medications, drugs, and toxins are also related to the onset of fatty liver disease. A medication example is antiretroviral therapy, used to treat human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. Fatigue is an early and unhelpful symptom. Pain in the upper right abdomen might be present, but usually it is not. Unsurprisingly, fatty liver is often found when the medical team is exploring other medical issues. In the early stages, a fatty liver is reversible with lifestyle changes and possibly medications. As the fatty liver becomes increasingly fatty, it develops inflammation, scarring, and then fibrosis. The liver tissue and the vessels become stiff, and they gradually become incapable of essential liver functions. Liver cirrhosis is a condition in which healthy tissue is replaced with non-functional, non-living scar tissue. Liver transplant is an option for some individuals at this stage of liver disease.